How to tap a maple tree with Arnold Coombs from Coombs Family Farms. To tap a maple, you'll need a spout, a hammer, a bucket, a drill, and your parents' permission. Then find a sugar maple. So if you want to make some maple syrup at your house, you go out and find a sugar maple like this one. What we're looking for is a sugar maple which has kind of a shaggy bark and you can look at a, a book and see how the leaf is and, it, and such, but the sugar maple gives us the best sap. You can get sap from other trees, but it doesn't make a very good syrup, not nearly as good as a maple syrup. So to make maple syrup, we need to get the sap out of the maple tree. And the sap is coming up from the root. A lot of people think that it's coming down from the top of the tree into the ground, but what's happening is the, the roots of the tree store starch over the winter and it gets converted into sugars and that's going to be the food for the maple tree. And so that's what's going to help go up the tree and generate the new growth, the, the buds that will turn into leaves. So the sap is going up through like water. We're going to take a little bit of it out, but there's literally thousands of gallons going up through a tree over the course of a year, and we're taking 10 gallons, so it doesn't hurt the tree. This is a typical sugar maple. This one's probably 130 to 150 years old. And in tapping this, we'd walk up to it, Make sure, try to get maybe on the south side. You can see the sun's down this direction. Look for a big root. There's a couple of good ones on this tree. Find a spot like here, nice and clean. What you'll do is you take a bit and you'll tap the tree. You'll go in about an inch and a half, about the size of my little finger. And I'll do that right now. Just pick a spot like that. Slightly uphill so the sap runs down. You can see the sap dripping there. Coming right out of the tree. Take a metal spout, like that with a hook. You put it right in the hole, and you just tap it in with a hammer. Good and snug, not too far. And the sap will bit, dam up behind that spout, and eventually it'll be running out there. Here it comes. We'll catch it with a bucket. Hang the bucket right on the hook, or if you had a milk jug, put that there. And then slide the cover on. Collect a little bit, boil it down, and you can have pancakes.